Hello guys, in this video we'll talk about JSON data type for our database. As you can see here inside users table, I created a new column called the data and its data type is JSON, right? And here is the result in my database. I have two users and I added array of JSON. The first user has two hobbies, reading and writing. And the second user has only one hobbies, which is reading, right? Now we will learn how to perform some queries on this data type. The first example here, as you can see, we're using direct array of data, right? So for example, what if we want to get users who has writing hobbies only? We can do it easily. I'm using Tinker by the way. So using user and we can use where JSON contains. And the first parameter is our column which is data and second parameter is the value for example writing right and if we return get here it returns only the first user what if we change it to reading like that it returns both of users because both of them have reading hobby this is the simple example right what if we want to get users who has more than one hobby for example this user has two here and this user, this user has only one we can do it easily using user again and this time we will say where json length here and the data and we can add our operator greater than one and also it is the only first user who has two hobbies right this is a simple example what if we want to add here this complex json right object here i will copy it and paste it here right for this user info hobbies sport football for example and for the second user i will remove it and i will say here basketball basketball by the way when you're saving a value inside json column make sure that all string values for keys and values must be using double quotation not single quotation so here for example if we add it here it will give us an error right so we must add double quotation always right and i will add it also for the second user save and then now let's perform some queries for example get user who has hobbies writing right so how can we access to this hobbies here we can do it easily also let's clear it using user where json contains again and the first thing is uh, our column here data and we need to go access to this object we can use this symbol here info right and also we will say hobbies here and bus value reading and then get it returns both of users what if we add writing only writing right also we can pass array here writing as you can see we can pass multiple values here reading and writing also as a parameter it returns only the first user right what if we add reading only it must return two users as you can see here let's check for sport return only user who has basketball for example here we can do it easily by accessing as you can see here data and then without info because it's direct object here we can use sport right we can say also basketball basketball and even let's remove it use a direct value and now it returns the second user right so use array operator only in case of value of arrays now what if we want to change this value for the second user for example i will get the second user only user 
find two and I want to change basketball for example to volleyball right so we can update our object or JSON data easily using here user update and the same thing here we can access our data and sport will be it's array by the way as you know update here and we'll say that a sport will be volley ball right string save it saved let's now try to get user id again and as you can see it's changed easily what if we want to change this array value who is here we can do it easily also as you can see i will say data inside info inside hobbies and i will make it here array also because it's array and i will say for example uh, reading horse save and it saves successfully get the same user again and it's a change right how can we read this data object here we can do it easily also using data and if you noticed it returns as a string we can use json decode to change it user find the two and the data right now let's change it to object become boss one here or true to convert it completely to array and instead of using json decode here we can use custis inside our user i will say here protected castes and equal to for data column it will be array instead of using or repeating using of json decode so back again here and they get user id number two or any user data it will be directly converted to array let's perform a last query here for getting user who has more than one hobbies we can do it easily again using a user where json contains and i will say data info hobbies here greater than one get and it returns here error where json lens sorry not json contains here i will say where json length and it returns only the first user who has more than one hobby here's some quick tips about json column data type if you found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in the next video